stop. This is Europe's entry into the space plane business, the intermediate experimental vehicle. The European Space Agency successfully completed a mission to fly the craft into space. I think we can uh, take that for a yes. Yes. Definitely. Survive re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere and splash down in the sea. The unmanned craft has an unusual shape and heat-resistant materials on its outer shell. The IXV has a lifting body shape, so basically it's different from a capsule. And the peculiarity of this uh, shape is that uh, interacting with the atmosphere while it re-enters uh, from, from space is capable to generate a lift. And so uh, this allows the vehicle to be guided uh, during its re-entry and this allows to reach a more uh, precise point uh, during the re-entry. On Wednesday, the space plane launched from French Guiana. It was expected that at an altitude of about 200 miles, it would separate from the rocket launcher. It flew over Earth until it reached its re-entry point. The vehicle is uh, filled up with more than 300 sensors to investigate the critical aerothermodynamic phenomena. The craft deployed a parachute as it made its descent for a safe splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. The mission took about one hour and 40 minutes. Europe joins the U.S. in the pursuit of creating a reusable spacecraft. Testing has been underway for NASA's Orion, an exploration vehicle that will eventually carry crews into space. Orion successfully completed a test flight last December. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. In which it made two orbits of the Earth and returned with a pinpoint splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. The Orion is NASA's first new vehicle for space travel since the space shuttle.